Hey guys, welcome back to Lounge. Today would be part two of the creation of the Traveler's Handy Sword from Genshin Impact. As you can see, it looks completely different. It's gray, it, you can see red spots over here and over here, over here as well. And that's because I have used two very, very important um, things on this sword that you can use whenever you're creating 3D models and bringing them to life, making it all perfect and stuff like that. Those two things are Sput Putty and Filler Primer. All right, so now that you have the model all welded, all together, all glued and stuff, the next, the first thing to do is to sand all that seam, all those seams down. That way, it would be easier for you to apply Sput Putty in order to make it make the surface all perfect. Alrighty, so now that I have the sword all filled up and stuff, you can see all that reddish um, spots in the sword. Um, that is from the spot putty, this one. Um, that is where I place the spot putty and I sanded it down. That is the imperfections that have been filled up from the putty. So next, um, righty, the next thing to do is to use filler primer. Filler primer is basically, it will basically fill up all the tiny tiny gaps left by the sand um the sanding process all those scratches and stuff like that it will fill it up and um you can sand it down you can sand it down with um a very fine 220 or 3 whatever sandpaper so i'm going to be filling this um, i'm going to be spraying this on the sword making it all um perfect and making it all beautiful so that will be the next process
Alrighty tighty, so now I have this. This is the Traveler's Handy Sword, as I said in the beginning of this episode. And it is a very incredible sword. Um, you cannot see literally any surface imperfections as far as I can tell anyway. And so the next thing to do is to um actually alrighty anyway so the next thing to do is to mask it all up using um, painter's tape and to paint this so that will be part three of the creation of this sword alrighty Zaitin, if you are excited for the completion for the final part of the creation of this sword hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss the final episode the final part of the creation of this sword this is going to be very very fantastic I have a project in mind from also, also from Genshin Impact that you guys may also like. I plan on making Aqu Aquila Favonia. I think that's the name. I think it is the, the, the most powerful sword in the game and I plan on modeling that and making it into reality. This is personally my favorite sword, however it is not the strongest one in the game. So making the strongest one in the game would be very it would be a very cool thing to do anyway if you are excited to see that also subscribe down down below so you don't miss whenever i upload that anyway i'll see you guys in the next part bye, -bye.